I will show you how to drag out a copy of anything in Photoshop quickly in just a minute, but we need to firstly have a quick refresher of the Move tool, which is just up here in our Tools panel. So notice I have nothing selected inside of my Layers panel, and I will turn on this option just here, Auto Select. So with that on, if I grab the coin, it moves nice and easy. If I grab my background, it moves also nice and easy. No big surprises there. But if I turn that off, so Auto Select is off, notice I have nothing selected inside the Layers panel. If I click and drag to move the coin, I get this message here. Photoshop is telling me it couldn't move anything because nothing was selected. So with Auto Select off, we need to pay close attention to what's selected inside the Layers panel because that is what will move. So for example, if I select the coin, sure I can easily grab the coin and move it, but also if I was to try and grab the background and move that, the coin still moves because it's still selected in the Layers panel. Very nice. So just a quick refresher there, guys. So let's jump into this cool technique. It's really nice and easy. We are just using the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on Windows. So again, we are using the Move tool. Just hold down Alt or Option. And then actually let's turn on Auto Select for this. So again, it doesn't matter if I don't have anything selected inside the Layers panel because Auto Select is on. So hold down Alt or Option and I can drag out a copy of the coin. Very nice. So then I can press Command or Control T Let's free transform that a little bit, maybe drop that in there. Let's grab another copy. So Option or Alt, drag out a copy, free transform. Very nice. So that was pretty easy there, guys. Now, yes, this technique, I was demonstrating this here inside of Photoshop, but this works in so many other Adobe programs, it's not funny. Let's, uh, let's jump into Illustrator. I'm working on a design here with lots of dots. I have my selection tool just up here. Holding down Alt or Option, I can easily drag out a few more copies to work on my design like so. Very nice. Let's jump into InDesign. Okay, I'm working on a design here. I need another frame. I don't want to have to draw one from scratch and try and match them all up. So Alt or Option. Let's just drag out a copy, move that into place, delete my image, and then let's drag in another image. Done. So that's it there guys, nice and easy. This works in so many Adobe programs. It's great holding down Alt or Option using your Move or your Selection tool, basically whatever the black arrow tool is inside of whatever program you're in. Use that with Alt or Option and just drag out a copy of whatever you need.